Major Paul Max Moga with the F-22 demonstration team based out of Langley Air Force Base, Virginia, headquarters of Air Combat Command. And we're here this weekend for the California Capitol Air Show in Sacramento. Uh, the F-22 Raptor is the Air Force's new fifth generation fighter. Uh, so it's the latest and greatest and pretty much the most capable aircraft you're gonna see in the world today. And really what it does for a fighter pilot is it enables the fighter pilot to pretty much do whatever he wants. There's no limitations on this aircraft, either you know, maneuverability wise or tactically employing the jet. Uh, as, as the guy in the cockpit, I, I pretty much see everything and because of the stealth capabilities, nobody sees me. So it's really a very easy jet to employ when you have that kind of tactical awareness available to you and, uh, and nobody else has a clue that you're around. With a takeoff, I accelerate to about 250 knots. And right next to show center, I aggressively pull up in the vertical. And I have to modulate the power a little bit to slow down so I don't climb too high. And I wait, when I get to a predetermined airspeed and altitude, I just push the stick forward and push the nose down and with the nozzles and the flight controls, I, I level off and basically accelerate forward and then I roll back and come uh, and do a split as to get repositioned back for the next maneuver. Next maneuver is a minimum radius turn. So when I arrive at show center, I start a uh, bank away and I do a minimum radius horizontal turn. Um, to keep it as tight as I can to the crowd and show people the, uh, the turn radius of the jet. As soon as I'm done with that, I roll out and go right up into the vertical for the high alpha loop. The high alpha loop, I climb it up to about 4,000 feet. Air speed's about 100 to 75 knots at the top. And I pull the stick back and the nose comes all the way through the vertical and then back to the other horizon. Once I get my nose established on the horizon again, I push the rudder pedal in and the jet starts yawing back 180 degrees of heading change and then I'm ready to reposition for the next maneuver. The next maneuver after that is a weapon bay door pass where we show folks where the bombs and the bullets and the missiles go. So I arrive pretty much pointing it right around show center at uh, 300 feet. When I get to the 500 foot line, I roll up and I show the belly of the jet and I, I open all the doors so folks can see those things open. After I pass show center, I hit another button and I close all the doors and then I roll out, accelerate and climb and get set up for the, uh, uh, for the next maneuver. Next maneuver after the weapon bay door pass is the power loop. That's been a real crowd pleaser lately. People get to see this jet execute a loop uh, that they've never seen out of a, out of a combat aircraft before. Uh, I reposition at about 1,500 feet and uh, at 250 knots, give or take, and I come back on the stick uh, to get the nose established up in the vertical. And then once I get to the nose to about 45 degrees nose high, I just keep pulling all the way back as hard as I can. The jet loops around at the top. You'll, you'll understand when you see it. Uh, what this jet can do because my nose gets all the way back to the horizon and I've doubled my altitude by the time I finish the loop. So there's not another jet uh, that can carry, uh, can carry ordnance that has that kind of capability. Uh, after the power loop, I accelerate out and come back around for the dedication pass. Uh, this, is the, this is a pass that really means a lot to me, probably one of my favorite ones to actually fly, uh, where we dedicate to all the people that are out there serving the country, all the people, uh, all the good Americans that are giving their lives in the defense of the country. So it, uh, it means a lot to me and means a lot to, to, uh, to the team when we execute this pass. So I'm um, typically from the right going to the left and I bank up and uh, really give them a good, uh, a good view of the aircraft. And I'm normally uh, carrying some good airspeed on it and uh, pulling a few G's as I go by as well. Uh, after the dedication pass, I roll out and reposition back around one more time and get ready for the, the, uh, the double pedal turn is what we call it.
I do it the same entry as the other pedal turn. Once I get up in the vertical, I pull all the way back on the stick to get the nose through the vertical and then establish at the horizon that I started off from when I started up in the vertical. As soon as my nose is there, and I'm at about 75 knots or so, and all I do is continue to pull back on the stick and I push the rudder pedal. So I'm asking the jet to go ahead and yaw. And you'll see the nose of the aircraft start yawing to the left as I start sinking. Uh, it, it looks very similar to his flat spin even though the aircraft is in, under complete control. Uh, once I get 180 degrees uh, of turn uh, out of the jet, all I do is I swap the pedals. So I'm pushing the left pedal first and then I swap it over to the right. The jet will stop the turn to the left and then it'll start maneuvering back to the right and it'll still be sinking a little bit uh, as, that's, uh, as that's happening. Tail slide, I reposition behind the crowd, come over it at about 1,000 feet and 200 knots. I push the throttles up the mill power in 250 knots, and then you'll see me just go right up into the vertical. I get to about 3,000 feet, and then I just run the jet out of uh, airspeed. I typically have to bring the throttles back a little bit uh, so I don't climb too high. Uh, the, the, the jet will just go to zero knots. And once I get to zero knots, I just uh, keep the nose up, and it'll start falling. And once I get to 50 knots of backwards airspeed, uh, I push the nose forward and then reposition for the uh, for the next maneuver, which is another power loop. It's, it's very similar to the first one I executed, um, except uh, it's from the other direction. And after the second power loop, I stay to the left and then come back around for the high speed pass, make some noise and uh, say hi to the folks at about 620 knots, pass and show center, and then uh, reposition for the, uh, for the heritage flight or do a, do a pitch up to land.